Arnold's heard the story before. Come in, right? I say, maybe not this way. The <laughs> is not real good. <laughs> As well we know. Yes. <laughs> Well, the time honored instructions will be the same. Go to your corners and come out fighting when the bell goes. The moment of truth for Lionel Rose. Is it the start of a new career? Or is it going to be the end of a quite magnificent one? Lionel Rose and Yoshiaki Numata for the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World, coming to you on the Seven Network and associated stations throughout Australia. <laughs> there has been a war of nerves with Rose, claiming, his opponent's claiming, that he punches with the open left glove. And uh, perhaps Numata has uh, been a little conscious of that because he seemed to be looking for it, and instead of that, Rose hit him with a good right hand. Rose, shorter, but a little between the two of them as far as reach was concerned. As Rose, that combination with Hook. It was quite away from the target. Good left hand by Namata. At the halfway mark of the first round. Numata reaching and goes hard to the body with the right hand. One minute to go in this first round. Rose straightening his left. It takes a long left hand back. Numata finding the target a little more easily than Rose in this first round with his left. In goes Rose, hooking with the left hand. Numata searching for any dint in the stamina of Rose, shooting for the short ribs of that right hand. Rose's left hand looking better now. Numata with a left hook. The best level in that exchange. Numata, left lead on the right hand. Rose got his glove up in time. First round indication that Lionel's going to be in for a busy night as the bell goes for the end of round one. You are with us at ringside at the gymnasium in Hiroshima where Lionel Rose is challenging Osiaki Numata for the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. The first round indicated to me that Lionel is not going to have an easy night. How did you see it, Rod? Yes, it was a fairly easy. Mm -hmm. uh, Rose's timing wasn't real good, and uh, he might have looked reasonably confident too. He's uh, quite a few good ones in there. He walked back to the front corner at the end of the first round very confidently, I thought, Nomato, with a bit of a smile to his uh, handlers. Rose gets in close, hooks that left hand. Eye on my head, and there's a murmur from the crowd because it did go off a little loudly. And uh, there's been a lot of publicity that Lionel tends to hit for the open left glove. Uh, part of the war of nerves and the pre-fight build-up, and the crowd is well aware of it. And there was a real murmur through the crowd as he clunked that left hook. 
Bowls a right hand for Numata. Numata had to support him with a good right hand coming in that time. Good left hook, however, by Rose. And again by Rose. Left hook back now by Numata. They're getting down to the business of fighting for a championship now. Right hand by Numata, blocked cleverly by Rose. It was a quick reflex by Lionel that time to get his right glove in a position because it was a nasty right hand. <coughs> Rose following the walkaway champion who stands his ground and shoots the right hand again. Okay. Left hands exchanged. Numata punching with the glove of Rose now. That one wasn't. That goes Rose. Couldn't cut him off in the corner. by the matter was right between Rose's eyes. No. Matter, streak of boost lands, gloves up in front of his face there. Comes out with a long left lead. Oh, right hand by Damata. Shook Rose, Rose fights back, goes for the body. The left hand, but the right hand with a nasty one. Flush on the chin, hard punch by Numata. I think Rose anticipated it, but he was too slow to get that glove in a position, and he took the full force right on the chin. Back comes Rose, a big left hook, and he hurt Numata that time. <laughs> into the body goes Numata, into those short legs, left of the body. Didn't make it a perfect combination because left hook was off target. And the body punch was well placed. Trying to balk Rose. Rose has been around too long for that. That's what happens when you try to balk and uh, your opponent doesn't fall for it. In came Rose with a good left hand. And it's the bell for the end of round two. I know my friends uh, from uh, Tokyo Broadcasting here at Ringside will be happy to know that I've just heard from Australia that uh, the pictures are perfect. Our thanks to uh, our friends here and uh, to KDD and to ATC. And we hope you're enjoying the uh, telecast of this world title fight coming to you on the Seven Network and associated stations throughout Australia. In Australia, you may be interested to know that this fight is being seen through 35 stations in Japan to an estimated viewing audience of close to 30 million people. Now, you're part of a big audience for this contest, which features our Australian Lionel Rose. Yamato. And the old step around me move. but I think Rose got the worst of it on the glove. He moved that right glove very quickly that time. There's the left hook by Rose, that's the punch. Could swing the fight Rose's way. Landed well. Rose's lead is deflected. The matter with a peculiar move, and they almost go over the top rope, and out he does. Face it's a three rope ring as you can see, but the ropes are rather slack and despite the fact that they are taped in two places on each side of the ring, they are rather slack ropes. Left into the body by Damata, the both attack the body ferociously there. Left into the body by Damata and Rose with left to the body and then Damata switching to the head. 
There's the out of that faraway right hand punch. He looked across at his seconds that time as they called something to him. And Rose, noting that his eyes were turned away, rushed in very quickly. Oh, a kidney punch that time, and uh, Rose didn't appreciate that at all. It was a real wild kidney punch, and quite deliberate, I thought. The martyr away from the hook. Rose jabbing. The martyr flicking with the left hand. Rose in again. Taken on the glove by Namata, left to the body and left to the head by Namata. Half a minute to go, Namata's round this one, although Rose blocks that right hand. Left hand punching by Rose, right on the target that time. Bell for the end of round three. I've scored two rounds to Namata, one round even. I don't know how well Humphreys are scoring it, but I would say that uh, it's going to be a very difficult one for Lionel to win because Namata's a very tricky and unorthodox opponent. Uh, I think Namata would be, uh, I've given him one round and two even, but uh, he's about a point in front at the moment. He's going to be pretty difficult. He's making Lionel move uh, up to him all the time and he's skipping away. He's trying to wear him out, I think. Those comments from Rod Humphreys, who's listed at ringside for this seven network coverage of the world title junior uh, junior lightweight uh, title contest with um, Yoshi N N uh, Numata and Lionel Rose. A taller Japanese boxer tangling with Rose. <laughs> He goes Rose again, and Namata back at him. Strong, cuffing on the back of the head. He's a rough son of a gun. Big kidney punch and cuffing on the back of the head. And the reprimand is to Rose, not to uh, not to Numata for punching on the back of the head, but the reprimand was to Rose for slapping with the open glove. In one of the press conferences, the uh, manager of Numata claimed that three reprimands for, for punching with the open glove uh, should uh, enable uh, his band to win on disqualification. But well, that was a point that was not conceded at any point by Lionel Rose or his uh, handlers. But there was a clear reprimand that time by uh, referee uh, Hiroyuki Tazakai for punching with the open glove. Rose belting the right hand of the body and gets a belting back. But Rose keeps on going and so too does, uh, does uh, Numata. It was suggested that Numata was having a great deal of trouble in making the required weight of nine stone four. Certainly Numata has given no indication in the first three rounds that uh, he is feeling any ill effects from uh, wasting to make the way. He looks very strong. And not too fussy where he throws his punches. Right hand by Namata, left hook counter by Rose. Rose short with his lead.
Rose chasing Namata, but Namata was going to be caught in the corner. Rose claiming the left arm of Namata, and Namata getting pretty impatient about it all. Namata's tactics, pretty obvious now. Move away in the early part of the fight, don't give Rose a chance to land his big punches as the bell goes for the end of round four. Tactics of the champion, obviously, are to move away, move away, make Rose chase until some of the danger has gone out of Rose's big punches. Oh, no. And there's Numata. And they're into the fourth, uh, into the uh, fifth round. Rose going after Numata. Numata claiming. Rose's left hand getting through that time and Amata has to come back on a left hand counter. Rose makes him miss and hits him on the chin. Not too gentle in close and Rose giving Amata one to go on with himself. Amata jumping at Rose. And again, and misses. Amata very quick to hold Rose at close quarters, realising there's the risk of one of those short left hooks from the Australian. Good left of the body by Rose. Arnold with a small cut in the eye. Anything could happen in close. Very small, Nick. Rose punching short and hard then. <laughs> Left of the side of flexes by Numata was a good punch, well placed. Left hand by Rose. Mm -hmm. missing with a hook. And Rose shows to how to do it. Mr. Mata goes for the body. Rose has landed some good punches in this round as the bell goes for the end of round five.
I thought the fifth round was Rose's best round, but from here on, I'm afraid that only Lionel knows how he'll fear, because at this point, it becomes a test of stamina as well as a test of punching strength. And this is where the, the amount of training, the amount of conditioning, this is where it starts to go from here on. Five down, ten to go. Friendly gesture by Namara. It was a gesture of preservation more than anything else. He's spraying his punches now. Rose came inside the right hand. He's trying to Rose trying to punch and Namara holding and then hitting. And the referee shaking his head at Rose. The only thing Rose did wrong in the clinch was get hit. Namara started to come forward a little now. Making Rose miss. Rose taking the initiative and steering Nomato of balance. by Inumara to the body to the head to the left hand. Left hook by Inumara, flush on the chin. Rose finding it hard to get past the arms of his opponent. Now he does with a left hand jab. Amara back to the lead and then grabs Rose. Rose hit him short in close. And one back and again. Away they go. Amara missing and holding on. Rose showing plenty of impatience now. Up goes Amara and misses again. Rose has got him good and mad now. Ooh, there. Ooh, there. Very rough. Rose with a bit of a grin on his face now. Realizing he's got a big smile. <laughs> Realizing that he's got his opponent in a little. Only a few seconds of this round to go. Beautiful left hand lead by Rose, and again, as the bell goes, for the end of round six. through the interval between rounds six and seven. Rose has done all of the chasing up to now, most of it. Uh, Namata has been content to fight a waiting battle, take his points as they come. Well, we have Namata ahead on points as they come up for round seven. Seventh round, seventh of 15 for the Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Lionel Rose, Yoshiaki Numata, coming to you live from Hiroshima. Four. On the Seven Network and Associated Stations throughout Australia. Big right hand that time. Lionel Numata, he belts another one at Rose, but misses. And he goes again, Rose covers up. Going for the body, but misses and holds on. Got his shoulder right again. Lionel looking down at our broadcasting position here with a big grin on his face too. Much as to say, what have I got here? 
He's got a very difficult opponent, I can tell you that. Left hook by Namata, left hook by Rose. Rose goes to the body. <coughs> by Namata. That time Rose was happy to stay in there. He had Rose that time, I think. Despite Lionel's smile. Good right hand by Rose. Back comes one from Namata. Lead by Namata. Rose punching to the champion's gloves. Rose missing the lift hook, no matter beating with a punch, the lead. Rose short with his lead again. One minute to go this round. Thirty seconds to go. It looks like the martyrs round again. I rise picking up the target well with that left hand now. Oh, a big spice. Another hooking. That's the body taken on the glove by Rose. Bell for the end of round seven. difficult opponent, Numata. Tricky. Not the greatest boxer in the world by any means, but a very difficult, awkward opponent. Mm -hmm. Humphreys at ringside, how do you feel about it, Rod? I've got Numata a couple of points ahead, Ron. He's, uh, he's worrying Lionel. Uh, Lionel's never liked to chase, and, uh, and this fellow's pretty quick on his feet. He gets away pretty quick. Morning, buzzer, or whistle, or whatever it is. <laughs> and they're coming up for the eighth of fifteen rounds. <laughs> Lionel Rose, Yoshiaki Numata. <coughs> Lead by Numata. Numata walking up to Rose a little now, carrying the fight to the Australian challenger. <laughs> Rose's right glove is doing good work, not so much in punching, but catching some of those right hands that are coming from the champion. Misses, Rose missing, three attempted punches. Beautiful attain by Rose that time. Now, Namata's coming up to the challenger, something he hadn't done in the early part of the fight, and Rose meets him with a left-hand lead. Into the body goes Namata. Look at him go there. Rose is back with a singing left hook. But once again, the referee reprimands Rose about punching with the open glove. The second reprimand on Rose. The punching with the open left glove. Looks pretty good to me. Good left hand by Rose. Clash of heads too as they came in. Neat right hand by Rose. Good punch. Rose again. 
Taken by Namata's forearms and blows. The left lead was a scorer for Rose. With Namata looking very dangerous in this uh, ninth round. <laughs> Rose to the body. Uh, that hurt Namata, that one, right into the short ribs. He's crouching a little now, Namata. He's got his elbow right on his rib. That body punch hurt him. I think even more than Rose realizes. The stories about Namata making weight were true. That's the one that's going to hurt. Now Rose, back in business. And about 20 seconds of the round to go. Because Rose hurt early in the round, and then Namata hurt with a body punch. No doubt that Namata was hurt. They grin at each other as the bell has gone to the end of round nine. Well, that was a pretty lively round, Ron. Yeah, they shook each other up there. Both um, landed good punches, Ron. Uh, I think Lionel might have just edged him out, though. He 
boys into the round. He's uh, made some very good scoring punches to the body. Right, as you said, made him crouch quite, a, quite that, appreciably. That body punch was a very significant one, I thought. It should be a, uh, a tip for Lionel there. Well, this is, I thought this was the plan to, uh, to work at the body. They thought he was a bit weak down below and uh, hasn't made a lot of body punching up to this date, so uh, might see a bit more from now on. Namata shaken up with a body punch after Rose had been shaken up early in the round with a nasty looking uppercut. This is round 10 coming up. I've still got Namata ahead on points after nine rounds. Good took by Rose. Namata stays in place. Marta's lead short. The body, the scorer. Good left hand by Rose. And again. Rose's punch is very short that time. Both looking for counter punch. Rose off target as he led and tried to follow over the right hand. Rose shows you how to do it. I think he's a little shaken by that right hand, just the same. It was the most unrose like punch that one. The right hand by Namata certainly shook one off. Lead by Namata. Rose back accurately with a jab. Left hook by Rose. Jab. I was putting plenty of shoulder in that lead. Come in close. Less than a minute of the round to go. Hard left hand lead by Numata. Snap Rose's head back. Rose trying to fight back, but the timing is not there. Rose walking in, he misses the left hook, right hand counter by the mother. Mata belts the hard right to the body, and Rose, going to the core, comes back with that left hand. Bell for the end of round 10. Yeah. Big punch and tried desperately to even the score. But at the moment, uh, Numata looks very strong, very fit, and very confident. Rose with a light mark on his right eye, carrying a little dressing there. Left hook by Rose. Hard to the body by Numata. Rose's right hand, good scoring punch that time. He's not putting enough of them together though, Ron, is he? No, he's starting to fight him. Fits and starts now. No matter holding him by that left hand lead. Oh. 
Rose trying desperately to get into position to land one of those big punches. The mother dropping his hands, boxing. Rose banking now and counter punching almost entirely. Being very restrained in his use of the left hand lead. In goes the Marta, punching to the body, not fussy whether it's in front of the scoring line or behind. <clears throat> At this stage of the fight, anybody punch does its job. Left hand by the Marta. Rushes in at Rose, and a peculiar move, looked as though he was going to stop it, and he came in close again. Rose trying to hard to make his opponent stand and swap punches with him. But the mother on the back move, back towards the blue corner. Along the ropes he goes. Rose trying to trap him in the uh, referee's corner. Can't do so. Away he goes again. Still Rose can't catch him to make him fight. He's going to fight on his terms. Rose through with a left hand lead. Close to the end of the round. Battle for the end of round 11. If you don't land leather, you can't score points. Yeah, you clean up. Rose looking out over the ropes at the crowd as the bell goes for round 12. I think you'd better win four rounds, Ron. Yes, you'd have to win every one of them, I would think. We hope you're enjoying this Junior Lightweight Championship of the World coming to you from Hiroshima through the Seven Network and Associated Stations throughout Australia. Lionel Rose challenging Yoshiaki Numata. Trying desperately to make Numata stay in a swap leather with him. Because time is running out for Rose. <coughs> As I see it, the Japanese has points on the board. Rose has got to get a real hustle on in these remaining four rounds. Yeah. Left hook by Numata. Rose reaching for the body with a left hook. Two minutes to go in this 12th round. And with the body goes Namato. And uh, imprisons Rose's right arm so that he couldn't punch short in close. And Rose working Namato back into the corner. Namato hits him with the right hand and pushes him off the balance, leaves him entangled in the ropes. <coughs> A lead by Rose. Good right hand by Rose. Flush on the chin. That was a good punch. Namata misses. And his right hand counter. Oh. Left hook by Namata. Block well by Rose. One minute of the round of go. It hasn't been a bad rose round for Lionel Rose at all. So far. The Marta's lead. Finds the target. So does Rose. Rose scoring left and right. The Marta's hook is off target. Nothing in that exchange. Tomato came to him. I thought Rose might have cut loose, but he was more intent on getting away from the corner himself. Close to the end of the round, and Tomato landing a kidney punch again. Right round behind the scoring line. 
Rose chasing. Right to the head by Nomata, but Rose is round as the bell goes for the end of round 12. Uh, I want to see him coming from behind. This is uh, close. 13, 14, and 15 to go. This is 13. This is the round that uh, someone predicted in Melbourne that Lionel might knock him out. Lionel Rose short of the left hand. And again. right to the body and Rose up, up, uh, accommodates him. <coughs> Marta pushing Rose back onto the ropes. <coughs> punch and counter punch in this 13th round. by Numara does not stop Rose ripping with the left. by the champion. Lionel Rose, the challenger, coming up. Jab short himself with the left hand. Misses with the right and good left hook by Rose. Good right hand by Rose. He's fighting man as he goes after Namata. Namata goes left and right to the body. Good punch. 30 seconds of the round to go. Namata dropping his hands, putting his head forward. The cheeky. Trying to balk Rose. Rose takes his points as they come, the left-hand lead. Hey, 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 took by Namata, right by Rose, and Namata lets one go, but the baseball match is outside. Bell for the end of the 13th. On the edge, as they come up for the 14th round. Two to go, 14 and 15. Lionel Rose challenging for the Junior Lightweight Championship of the World at a weight limit of nine stone four. Go, 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 body go, go, by Rose, no matter. Pushing Rose off balance and belts him. Anything goes here, I can see that. <laughs> Apologise after. We'll get the punch in first. <laughs> Two reprimands on Rose so far in the fight for punching with the up and left glove. Rose throwing everything now into a grandstand finish. There's no doubt about it. He realises that uh, there are points on the board against him and he's chasing them now. Rose making a big finish of it in this 14th round as he comes after Namata again and Namata hits him with the right. Up comes Rose again. Look at him try and cut Namata off from the corner and getting out of that corner. Hits him with the right hand. Now he takes him on to the other corner. Right to the head of the right hand counter by Namata. Beautiful left hand lead by Rose. Rose at his best in these closing rounds. Go. 
The Japanese title holder, however, is still jabbing, still moving. Less than a minute of this 14th round ago. Mata set to throw a right hand, changed his mind. Twenty seconds of the fourteenth to go, Rose working accurately with the left hand. Bell for the end of round 14. Just giving us a week here in the corner. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do this round. Last round. The 15th round of the Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Coming to you from Hiroshima via satellite to the Seven Network and Associated Stations throughout Australia. Lionel Rose with three minutes to win the title from Yoshiaki Numata. Numata climbing. Climbed Lionel's right glove very quickly then, lead by Numata. Good left hook by Rose. Numata back with the right hand. It's a savage last round, this one. Rose and Numata tangled in the ropes again, and Numata keeps on punching. The referee's trying to pull him away. Rose is holding and hitting there. That's one of the fouls they brought up in the uh, meeting the other night. Well, it's Rose now making a last round grandstand effort to try and pull this championship contest out of the fire. Did he move up on the matter again? Matter bleeding from the mouth, left hand lead by Rose. One thing about Rose, he's certainly a credit to himself in the ring tonight because his last four rounds have been the hardest for him and uh, have been his best rounds, if, if, if anything. Yes, he certainly showed he had a bit of condition on him. Well, uh, he didn't do a little bit more earlier. Look to the head now by Rose. There he goes again with that left hand lead. Thirty seconds to go. Rose desperate to get back into action as he knows the seconds are running out. Another desperate reprimand for open glove there, Ron. Another reprimand for his left glove. Desperate finish by Rose. And the bell. Stand by for the result. Stand by for the result. A tremendous finishing performance by Rose. Certainly putting a uh, lie to any doubt about his fitness, but he must have been concerned about it himself early because he started so slowly. 
but a tremendous finishing performance by Rose. Stand by for the result now. <laughs> Judges checking the score sheets. Hey. And the winner is the no matter. <laughs> Thank you.